For millions of people around the world, the home and office have merged. That's why hackers and scam artists are out in full force. The reason why we are seeing a massive increase in the number of threats is because this is a global challenge, right? Uh, traditionally, in the past, when bad actors would take uh, advantage of a certain topical uh, thing, it used to be regional, local. Uh, this pandemic is global. All these startups for almost a decade. This is how Casey Wisdom's day used to look. He's the founder of Pitch Global, which helps connect entrepreneurs with investors. Now he's setting up virtual conferences from his home, where he's noticed an increase in fake emails, including this one, which has an email address from his own website domain. That's called spoofing. I just cannot believe such thing can happen. I'm not even touching that email. Whoever is doing this, they are much more tech savvy than I am. Definitely the quantum of, you know, hacking of, you know, illicit activity, trying to take advantage of fear and vulnerability in the community, this activity has gone up. So only way I can cope with it is have backups of backups and really be uh, collaborative so that we know who to call and ask for help. Gigamon CTO says hackers are using the COVID-19 crisis to their advantage. He says thousands of websites have recently been registered using the words COVID-19 or coronavirus. Many of them are set up to trick people into giving up their personal information. Merchant's company Gigamon analyzes network traffic and creates solutions to respond to threats. He advises people to avoid clicking on strange attachments and links in mails and for companies to employ two-factor authentication while building resiliency throughout their network. These are difficult times and difficult times create a perfect storm or a perfect opportunity for bad actors to take advantage of people's emotions. So recognize that that emails that you see, attachments that you see will prey on your emotion and they prey on the urgency of it. Don't fall prey to that. Merchant expects the cyber threat situation to only get worse as people become more vulnerable, scrambling for paychecks and making financial transactions that are all handled online. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.